fun fact about UC Hastings. Hi, Ben and Nathan. Thank you for the podcast and the demon. Using these resources, I've been able to raise my 151 diagnostic to an average of 167 on prep tests. I'm currently nice. working on raising my average into the 170s and will be taking the official test in November. Awesome. Um, 20 points is not out of the question, not at all. I'm writing yeah. to share that Kamala Harris, who is currently running for vice president alongside Joe Biden. Did you know that, Ben? <laughs> Wait, who? What? <laughs> yes, attended the that. show's favorite <laughs> law school, UC Hastings, exclamation point. Matt, you got a lot of exclamation points, man. I'm just, I'm glad you're enthusiastic. Um, Matt should have put scare quotes around favorite there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. there's scare quotes in the next line, though. If Biden and Harris win in November, Hastings will have the, quote, claim to fame. Wait, that's not a good use of those quotes, though. That's a bad use of the quotes, because you're not trying to say it's not a claim to fame. Of course it would be a claim to fame. Yeah, they would have. I mean, unless you're shitting yeah. on the idea of having the first female president in U.S. history, which I'm sure you're not. Um, <laughs> okay. We got to edit for Matt, but anyways, we get the point. Mm -hmm. Yes, if Biden and Harris win in November, Hastings will have the claim to fame of having the first female vice president in U.S. history as an alum. I'd also be willing to bet they would never stop talking about it. Thanks again, Matt. Ooh, that's true, right? We would <laughs> oh get a we would get a long email from Fagman. Yes. About Kamala. Yeah. Oh yeah, they they will never stop. They will never stop talking about her. Um, yes, it's great. Uh, I hope it happens. Uh, even though I will have to cringe every time Hastings starts talking about how they launched the career of whatever, <laughs> blah blah blah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, and have a fundraising event for it somehow. God, yeah. Speaking of that, did you did you ever even see this? The, the the subject of this email did you you must have missed this did it go no. straight to your spam i i don't think i saw it do you filter yeah. all of my emails and send them straight to spam <laughs> I, filter <laughs> I filter them all yes okay check out this this was a subject line that came from my alma mater and least favorite law school uc hastings okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna paste it in here under matt's email yeah that's the subject uh, <laughs> special recent alumni price dash wine with UC Hastings. You know what that is, Ben? That's somebody that doesn't know how to use an M dash. Not at all. That's yeah. a devastating dash. That's the, that's the, that's the devil's dash. They fucked up on that. It's I also read just that. like an overly wordy subject. True. Like recent, of special, uh, re special, recent alumni price. No, they need like, to kill special and recent or special. They could kill, kill recent. And yeah. then they need the big dash. The, what they're trying to say is special alumni price on what now? On mm -hmm. wine with UC Hastings. So they're trying to sell you wine with UC Hastings <laughs> and you're getting a special recent alumni price. I'll read you a little bit of the details, okay? Yeah. Um, join our very own Catherine Hall, 71. She graduated from Hastings in 71. On a live Zoom wine tasting, <laughs> Catherine has selected three of her favorite current releases for our UC Hastings alumni. But in order for the wine bottles to be shipped to you in time for tasting, blah, 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 click here to register now. Chancellor and Dean... Dean David Fagman will be joining Catherine to taste the wines on Zoom and enjoy conversation. Please join us for this unique fundraising event to support the law school. It is sure to be a magical and delicious evening. This is the type of shit that you get if you pay Hastings $50,000 a year to go there. <laughs> you get invitations to expensive wine tastings with Fagman. Um, Wait, this is a special price? Yeah. Oh, while this is a fundraising event, we wanted to make it more accessible for all our grads, including those of you who have recently graduated. Please see the new UC Hastings recent alumni pricing previously $500 colon oh my bullet gosh. point. Oh my gosh. $250 donation gets you a three bottle package. 
There's a Cab, a Pinot Noir, and a Rosé. And then it has this whole lengthy four paragraphs of an advertisement for this Mendocino winery. Or sorry, she grew up in Mendocino. The halls, they are in Napa Valley, of course. <laughs> and it's just... <laughs> three bottles of wine. It's three bottles oh of wine gosh. for $250. Oh, that's a and, special price. Well, and you also ripoff. get to drink wine with Fegman on Zoom. <laughs> tell you what should, that should be <laughs> you should they should have to pay you <laughs> to endure that i got a better offer for yeah. i got a better offer for all our demon subscribers yeah go to trader joe's get whatever <laughs> wine you like i personally do not hate two buck chuck at all <laughs> but go to go to Trader Joe's, get whatever fucking wine you want. You want to be fancy, be fancy. I don't give a shit. And you can come to class in Zoom with me and drink wine as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one really nice thing. I love how I'm watching in the in the <laughs> gallery view. I love watching my classes and seeing everybody with their glasses of wine in class. It's <laughs> quite I've been noticing that more and more. Actually, I was I was doing office hours in office Tuesday, hours, and I right? was like, yeah, like like what what's going on? There's really this like trend of <laughs> people drinking their wine and so openly. They're just like, D -d -d -d. hey, they're at like, home. They're yeah. you know they're they're enjoying um, some entertainment. I mean, hey, our classes are definitely fifty percent entertainment. Like I've I've always been like that because I want to make LSAT studying as l least painful as I possibly can. And so, yeah, do whatever you got to do uh, to, to relax and enjoy yourself, especially in the middle of a pandemic, apocalyptic fires, dumpster fire in the White House. Oh, God, I mean, just <laughs> like, it's a fucked up strange time. And if you need a glass of wine to get through it, uh, I'm all, all in favor. Not for a two hundred and fifty dollar donation to UC Hastings, though. Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's a special price. That's a special price. It was five hundred. That's why they, if they. Do you know what I guarantee you they did not do? Hmm. They did not. Anybody who had signed up for five hundred bucks, there's no hmm. way they gave those people two fifty back. <laughs> no, because they're <laughs> reaching out to their less fortunate alum, as they say. Yeah, that came to me, and it said, and it didn't, especially our something something recent alums. I mean, I graduated in <laughs> 2011. <laughs> they're having trouble selling out the event. They're going to be embarrassed because their 71 is not going to have a large crowd. With I thought about unsubscribing from that 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 list. It, it's just it gives me too much comedy. I <laughs> I can't I can't unsubscribe. <laughs> but it's like I I will say to them, hey Hastings. If I was ever going to donate money to the school, I would have started a long time ago. Uh, you're not, you're not going to get a goddamn dime out of me. Um, but they're not going to keep asking. They're not going to stop asking, Ben. They're never stopping. Nope. Nope. They, I think they might be in the any publicity is good publicity school of marketing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, Fag Fagman seems to open his like heart to <laughs> so many people. <laughs> And his like thought process, you're like, really? That's what you were thinking? Okay. Um, <laughs> glad to know you're an open book in some ways. Okay. Anyway. Uh, that, was, uh, that was Matt. Thank you, Matt, for writing in. Um, yes, I hope Kamala Harris is indeed the first female vice president in U.S. history. That would be one bit of progress uh, <laughs> in an otherwise very shitty year. Yeah.